you know, one is the one is the domestic part, which obviously we've seen the economy slow down. But uh, if we look at the bigger picture, and that's where rupee does not necessarily stand out as egregiously uh, as an underperformer, is the fact uh, around what's happening globally. So around the same time, we've had a you know flip flop and at the margin a deterioration in the U.S.-China relationships. Admittedly, last couple of weeks now we are looking forward to a mini trade deal. But uh, the issue is the market does not believe that uh, we're going to see a sustainable overall trade deal. There may be some mini wins, but at no big bang uh, uh, agreement given that there, are, there is still a very wide gap between what the U.S. wants and what China wants to give up. So with that, we've seen the yuan depreciate. Uh, you know, we've, we've seen the uh, INR kind of uh, empirically getting uh, linked to the yuan uh, CNH and INR 10 is what, yeah. what people have been talking about, which kind of gives a little bit of an asymmetrical um, uh, uh, reaction function to the rupee. And therefore, while we have seen it uh, depreciating at, at the margin along with the yuan, the issue is that uh, even locally we've not seen uh, the news flow improve materially. And then, of course, like you mentioned, oil. So all of that does not uh, add up to a very positive sense. Uh, backdrop for the rupee just at the moment. But if on a, on a consistent slow pace, if the crude keeps inching higher, that will have its impact from a long-term perspective on the currency as well. You'll see the you know the trade deficit math, the CAD math, uh, you know not going in favor. 2.1 percent currently the CAD, which has already gone up from 1.8 percent last year. But uh, all this, in its own way, and the global market sentiment doesn't all go too well right now. The picture we can't paint is to be too, uh, too hunky-dory for the currency, right? Or you would find a silver lining somewhere? I would agree. At the moment, we, are, uh, you know, we have a lot of the negatives which have converged. So you know, like we discussed, we have the US-China, US we have crude, and then we have the domestic problem itself. The hope is, you know, in the short term, if we were to see some, uh, some wins on the US-China trade talks, uh, and, it, and that stabilizes the dollar and EM globally, that would have, uh, have an impact on uh, India as well. Uh, on, the, on the domestic growth front, I think let's see what our conference throws yeah. up, but, but hopefully we, we should see some more steps coming in from the government while avoiding the, the fiscal uh, issue. So uh, given that scenario, if, if we do see some of these uh, things play out, we could see a uh, material improvement in the rupee. Outside of that, uh, you know, uh, it will, rupee will find it difficult to appreciate uh, much beyond where, you know, we've seen a trade over the past few days. Okay, I'll talk about the, the dollar index as well and, and what you see there. But a quick peg, uh, if you were to give me a short term, uh, keeping all these nuances in mind, if you were to give me a short term uh, fair value for the currency, what would it be? So, uh, you know, we have the, we have the uh, Chinese anniversary celebrations on 1st of October, so we don't expect uh, much to, uh, you know, there should not be a material uh, deterioration before that. Both sides will want to ensure that. Then we have uh, the U.S.-China trade talks uh, uh, in the U.S., uh, where we have uh, Lo He going to, uh, going to the U.S. to discuss. So that should keep markets uh, kind of uh, hopeful at least into middle of October. But given what we've seen, you know, uh, the yuan is also finding it difficult to move below the, the 7705 band in absence of a breakthrough. Given that scenario, it's going to be that much more difficult for rupee to go uh, to sustain materially below, let's say, uh, a 70, 70 half on the downside. Uh, if the yuan is where it is, and unless the global markets are, uh, uh, EM is appreciating materially, uh, if there were to be any one off flows pushing dollar rupee lower, I would expect we would have RBI looking to support the rupee on the downside. So that's where I see uh, rupee on the downside. And we should remain fairly contained uh, over the coming couple of weeks to a month because of the scenario that I played out. Post to that, I think it depends on how the talks go. Mm -hmm. But if uh, the market base case were to play out, uh, you know, there would probably be additional depreciating pressure on the rupee uh, through this year and, uh, and into next year. Nothing alarming, but uh, you know, a couple of percentage points from where we are, uh, uh, further, further lower in rupee value over the coming few months is what the base case would be.